Alec Murdoch testified in his own defense today. The disgraced attorney, former attorney, accused of shooting and killing his wife and son in June of 2021. And immediately after taking the stand, he was asked if he killed Maggie and Paul Murdoch. Here is some of that testimony. I am going to testify. I want to testify. On June 7th, 2021, did you take this gun or any gun like it? and shoot your son Paul in the chest in the feed room at your property off Moselle Road? No, I did not. Mr. Murdoch, did you take this gun or any gun like it and blow your son's brains out on June 7th or any day or any time? No, I did not. Mr. Murdoch, <coughs> did you take a 300 blackout such as this, and fired into your wife Maggie's leg, torso, or any part of her body? No, I did not. Did you shoot a 300 blackout into her head, causing her death? Mr. Griffin, I didn't shoot my wife or my son any time, ever. Mr. Murdoch, is that you? On the kennel video at 8.44 p.m. on June 7th, the night Maddie, Maggie and Paul were murdered? It is. Were you in fact at the kennels at 8.44 p.m. on the night Maggie and Paul were murdered? I was. Did you lie to Sled Agent Owen and Deputy Laura Rutland on the night of June 7th and told them that you stayed at the house after dinner? I did lie to them. Did you lie to Agent Owen and Agent Croft on the follow-up interview on June 10th that the last time you saw Maggie and Paul was at dinner? I did lie to them. And in the interview of August 11th, did you tell Agent Owen and Agent Craw, did you lie to them t by telling them that you were not down at the kennels on that night? Yes. Alec, why did you lie to Agent Owen Agent Croft and Deputy Rutland, about the last time you saw Maggie and Paul? As my addiction evolved over time, I would get in these situations or circumstances where I would get paranoid thinking. Uh, it, and it, it could be anything that, that triggered it. It might be a look somebody gave me. It might be a reaction somebody had to something I did. Um, it might be a policeman following me in, in a car. Um, that night, June 7th, after finding Mags and Paul, 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 don't talk to anybody without Danny with you. All my partners were just repeatedly telling me that. I had a deputy sheriff taking gunshot test from my hands. I'm sitting in a police car with David Owen asking me about my relationship with my wife and my son. And all those things coupled together after finding them, coupled with my distrust for SLED, caused me to have paranoid thoughts. Normally. And toward the end of court today, Murdoch was focused on financial crimes, at least when it came to cross-examination from the state. Rachel Ripp has a breakdown from the courtroom. Today, Alec Murdoch, the defendant himself, testified that he stole money from clients, inflated fees, and falsified paperwork. He testified that the saddest part in all of this is that he still cares about these clients he stole from. Alec testified he stole $1.3 million in the UPS case above the $1.2 million in fees Alec earned. Do you have any independent recollection of a time where you sat down and looked that person in the eye and you were lying to them and, and convincing them that everything was okay while you stole their money? Do you remember it, even one of them? I'm sure I do. Okay, well tell us about one. I mean, you have to show me, you have to give me... I'm asking you if you remember one time where you're sitting there in your heart, looking somebody in the eye, knowing you're stealing from them, and you remember it. I remember stealing from people, I remember lying to people, and I remember misleading people. For me to tell you that I sat down with each one of these people... Um, I'm asking you to tell me 
tell me about just one conversation. Alec testified he freely admits he did this and took people's money and Russell Lafitte, the former CEO of Palmetto State Bank, convicted in November, was not involved. Alec says he doesn't dispute anything in the emails and messages with Russell Lafitte, but doesn't remember the details. Alec Murdoch confirmed in court that the Pamela Pinckney case recovered $10 million, but that there were $4 million in attorney's fees to PMPED in Alec's name. Reporting in Walterboro, Rachel Ripp, News 19, WLTX. Hey, Rachel, coming up in less than two hours now, our Murdoch After Hours special airing live on social media starts at 9. Going to be joined by criminal defense attorney Taylor Bell, who will discuss what happened in court today. You can watch it on WLTX Plus, the WLTX YouTube page, or on our website. That's WLTX.com. Still ahead.